Thank you for all being here. Um, so, um, my name is Jesus Madriga. Um, I am manager of the farmers market in Watsonville. Been there for 16 years. Uh, prior to becoming the manager, I did a lot of other different things. So, um, I'll tell you a little bit about that. Aside from that, I also have another job. So, the farmers market is my part time, um, and I am a clinical social worker. Very different, uh, but at the same time. I get to use some of those tools that I learned there at our farmer's market. Uh, anyway, anyway, so I started uh, when I was in uh, high school. Uh, a teacher, my science teacher said, hey, anybody needs a job or volunteer, uh, wait for me uh, or wait and speak to me at the end. Uh, I was the only one there uh, at the end of the class, so it was easy to get that job. I went in uh, and I got that job, and I started uh, selling soft drinks at the farmer's market, and uh, also um, uh, translating for the farmer's market manager at the time. Um, after that, um, <laughs> After that, what happened was that uh, we needed to promote uh, the farmer's market. And so one of the things that we needed to do is advertise it. And I didn't have the license at the time. Nobody asked me for it. So uh, the manager at the time, uh, and she said, hey, do you drive? I'm like, yeah. And so uh, I learned to drive stick shift. Uh, <laughs> Uh, with no license, uh, putting signs all over Watsonville, uh, and so that was kind of like a step up. <laughs> and so um, after that, uh, you know, I'm there for a while. Uh, the, the it was a different manager now at the time, and she noticed that I, I, I like to talk to people, I like to you know organize, and so she said, "Hey, you want to be?" assistant manager I'm like of course what does it entail I'm like well, everything that you're doing now so that's what I did I'm like okay and so I became the assistant manager and um, I guess I guess let me let me try to forward uh, since we don't have a lot of time uh, three years ago uh, I was offered to be the head manager and so from three years on um, or from from now uh, what I've been doing is trying to uh, make the farmers market more festive, more uh, community oriented. My lens is, is more uh, towards uh, community and uh, uh, trying to help the community. So we kind of put a bulletin board, we have an inf informational booth, we uh, um, help people, we send people to the kitchen, uh, we uh, anything. So if somebody comes and asks, Hey, we need this. We kind of direct them to you know the places, and if we don't know, we always say, "Just leave me your number. I'll call you back." So this is how I'm. I'm here. Um, the, the market was, uh, as mentioned, started 16 years ago. We try to make it as uh, we try to uh, we introduce. We were actually one of the first to introduce uh, prepared food, um, and the reason for the, that was because our community uh, wanted it. Uh, we we thought. Uh, uh, it's a Latino community, uh, uh, and so one of the ideas was, in Mexico, when somebody goes to buy fresh produce, they go to the mercado. In the mercado, uh, you get, as you go to the mercado, there's tacos, there's all these goodies that you, that you get, and that's what we try to create at our farmer's market. And so that is why we have the farmer's market uh, um, you know, that we have now. Uh, Soon, other markets started uh, um, also uh, looking at that and they started also producing, uh, or sorry, uh, um, kind of integrating that as well. So, um, yeah, um, I'm here. Uh, one of the things that we do uh, at our market is we try to not duplicate too much. We do have a lot of Mexican food, but we also, what we do is we try to have every vendor have their own unique thing. So you'll get, uh, you know, uh, Mexican food from a variety of the different places in Mexico, uh, be it from uh, Distrito Federal, the, uh, Oaxaca. And so for those who have not tried grasshoppers, please stop by. <laughs> <laughs>